And the next submitted topic today gets sent in to us by Edward Dugan, who writes, I don't mean to beat a dead cat. Get it? I get it. But did you see that Universal has basically thrown in the towel on cats and removed them from any awards consideration? I thought studios even put up their garbage films in these for your consideration runnings. And wasn't Cats whispered to be an Oscar contender uh, a while back? How bad of a look is this? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, so here's the thing. A lot of times when studios get together and put, put together their for your consideration lists, a lot of times they just throw the kitchen sink at it. I mean, they do four-year consideration campaigns for movies that have no business, no business getting four-year consideration campaigns. Uh, Even if they don't even put a lot of money into a campaign for it, they'll at least list it. Four-year consideration, every single thing they've done. And up until recently, the same could be said of their cats situation. They had cats on there. They were promoting cats to, to the various academies and award bodies. As having as being a four year consideration film. Well, they've pulled it. Universal has, as you said in the message there, uh, they've thrown in the towel. They've called it a day. They've surrendered. They've waved the right white flag, and Universal's cut it from its four year consideration page. Uh, Variety actually has one of their pages there showing a list of the films, and obviously not among them is Cats. And yes, this is. A for Cats, a tragic turn of events from a film that just a number of months ago, even though the trailers looked really weird and weak, a lot of people were talking that Cats, you know, in and of itself could be just maybe that Cats could consider to be an Oscar contender. And and yet here we are. It is clearly not an Oscar contender. It's also covering my face for some reason. Hold on a second. Let me, let me fix that. I don't know why the cat is covering my face. I think the cat is very upset of uh, the way I'm speaking about her right now. So, so let's get that fixed. Shoe cat, shoe. Okay, there we go. Anyway, um, so clearly they've thrown in the towel. As a matter of fact, the article goes on to express that the Academy voters have a streaming service where the four-year consideration films can be streamed by the Oscar contenders. Like instead of the Academy handing out physical discs, they have like a streaming service for it and they do not have cats on there. And I think that means for any t- category or any conversation. So, so, I mean, that's interesting. What's even more kind of interesting is sad is to see how other people in the industry are reacting to it. This was also up on variety, which I thought was interesting. Now, again, let me clarify here. I myself have not seen cats. I've been getting caught up on all the award potential films this week, uh, and I'm just about finished now, but I still haven't seen Cats, and I still haven't decided if I even want to see Cats, but who knows? Let me give the disclaimer that for all I know, if I went to go see Cats, maybe I would think it's the best film of the year. I don't know, so take that with a grain of salt, but it's interesting to see even (laughs) other actors and actresses are really hammering this film. Evan Rachel Wood is the headline in Variety. Blast Cats in an expletive-filled review. And what it basically goes on to say, uh, you know, she writes, and of course, Variety, I think, uh, they edited it out. F Cats is actually worse, I thought, than it would be, and I already thought it would be horrible, but I am actually speechless. Why would you change the choreography? I am speechless. Then she goes on to write uh, on Instagram, I have to be an actual live, I have to have an actual live reaction to this. What the F? What the F? What the F? What, what, what the F? Oh my God. (laughs) Now look, I am generally not somebody who likes the idea of film professionals trashing on the work of other film professionals right? Leave that to the audience, leave that to the critics, leave that to the pundits. I'm not generally a big fan of directors or actors trashing the work of other actors or directors, particularly when that work is actually now in theaters right now, and it's trying to earn a living and trying to make money for the people who worked on it. (laughs) Like, I'd be lying if I didn't say, (laughs) I didn't laugh a little bit. I am speechless. What the F? What the F? What the F? F this movie. Oh, my God. I mean, hey, tip of the cap to Evan Rachel Wood for having some uh, creative use of some language in there. But listen, at the end of the day, in all seriousness, this is a sad, uh, unfortunate result 
for a movie like Cats. It's easy for us to sit on the outside and laugh at the horrible reviews and how stupid the movie looks like it is and how everybody's hating it. It's easy for us to laugh about that. But the sad thing about this is that I know that when Universal was putting this film together, they really had high hopes and high aspirations for it. They really believed in this project. It is the most decorated, one of the most celebrated stage shows of all time. It's got a a beloved place in a lot of people's hearts. They gathered an incredible cast. They did, for whatever anybody else wants to say about it, I think what they've done with the visual effects is mind-boggling. Like, mind-boggling. I never thought what they did. When I see these cats, you may say it looks creepy and everything, but I look at it and go, oh my God, I still can't believe that's not actors in costume and makeup. I can't believe that's digital effects. Like, I think what they've done is actually rather remarkable, notwithstanding how creepy it may be. You attach a director like Tom Hooper, who I think is probably the most underrated director in the business. The guy is so good. Universal had a lot of high hopes for this thing. And I think they believed in this film right up until the first reaction started coming into it. I I think they really believed they had something special on their hands. And it's got to be a tough day over at the Universal Studios to have this film. Apparently, you know, we're going into its 10 days of release. Right now, it's only made $15 million worldwide, if I understand the reports right, on a $100 million budget. This is a movie that made, needs to make about $220 million just to break even. And so far, it's made about 15. This is going to be a huge financial bath, maybe the biggest flop of the year uh, for the studio. And it's it's one thing when you know you've got a bad movie on your hands and it turns out to flop. It's another thing when you're kind of hoping maybe we've got something special and it turns out badly. So while we laugh at it and all that kind of stuff, there's also a, a part of me that can't help but feel kind of bad for the good folks over at Universal because I think they, like I said, they had high hopes for this thing and it's unfortunate that it's turning out the way that it has. My question is, guys, have many of you guys had a chance to go and see Cats. If so, what did you think about it? Did you hate it as much as everybody seems to be talking about? Are you maybe thinking it's getting a little bit of a bad rap? What do you think about it? Jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts.